Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all to my YouTube channel and you are in the series of Fundamental of Cyber Security. So in the previous session we had seen a network traffic probe uh, where we are probing our network so that it gives me some information about the network and the resources available in it. The same thing we had done in the banner grabbing, we are interested in the information that is there in the network and that is there with the target. So we are interested in that information. Well, there is another tool, uh, it is an alternative of NetCAD and banner grabbing, uh, such as Telnet and all. It is an alternative tool known as SOCAT. And SOCAT is SOCAT CAT. You know that a port is nothing but a software. It is, it is not a hardware, by the way. It is a software code, just like your SOCAT programming. Uh, and by the way, with the help of that SOCAT programming, you can, uh, you know, join the program or the services so that you can have HTTP and HTTPS, FTP and all. Right. So port is nothing but a, a kind of SOCAT. So in the same way, it is uh, uh, build uh, uh, this network utility tool, which is SOCAT and uh, it's a networking tool by the way so I'm gonna write it down here and let's see that how exactly it works in the Linux so it's a networking tool and what exactly it does it transfers the data between two locations this is very important so it is the same uh, you know the netkit uh, is doing for you the same thing it does for you so it's an alternative of netkit transfer data uh, between two location between two location so these locations so when i when i when i say location so location could be any socket so here the location could be a socket so when i say socket it is nothing but a port which i am talking about so what this exactly says, it says it connects two entities or two locations. So if this is one location and this is another location, then uh, how this is connecting with the help of port numbers. So if this person is using a port of 440, then this also should use the same port 440 to connect. So, so this, this uh, member is listening here. Uh, so if this is a listener, uh, then uh, this is going to connect with this listener, right? So this connection is going to be happen with the help of this SOCAD tool. It's a network utility tool, by the way. All right. So these are the two locations. So this is location one and this is location uh, two. Uh, so it is not only locations, they, they could be addresses. So based on the addresses, it can connect. So how exactly I can connect? Yeah, there is a syntax for it. So syntax is pretty simple. Uh, so you can have a, a SOCAD here and the basic option you can provide here and uh, the two locations so this is could be an address one which you are interested in in, in in connecting and this could be the address two so this way it could be connect or either way you can separate these two addresses uh, uh, with a single command so let's see that how exactly we can do that so i'm gonna make a communication between two locations or let's say the two computers right so let me start with a Kali machine here and uh, you see that this machine is enough for me to run uh, the SOCAT tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open two network uh, terminal here, uh, sorry, terminal itself. So uh, these are the two terminals, uh, one is this and this one the other. So I'm going to, so uh, assume that these two terminals are computers, all right. So if these two machines are computers, so this is going to be my PC1 and this is going to be my PC2. And let me run the SOCAT here. So what I'm going to do on machine one, I'm going to put a listener here. So let's say the listener is uh, SOCAT-TCP4, which is a TCP4 control. And I'll simply uh, take a listen here. And let's say port number is 440 or maybe 4440 and uh, I'm simply gonna make it uh, hit enter so it is this is going to listen here okay it is listening in the listening mode in the same thing I'm gonna connect with this PC2 here so I'm gonna say so cat dash TCP4 uh, maybe my here it is a wrong formats so maybe uh, let's see that how is this work so this is 192.168.117.130, which is my internal Kali machine IP address. I'm not connecting to external PC here. So the port on which it is listening and I want to connect, it is 4440, right? So I'm going to hit enter. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, 
I've done something here, so it's a so bad. Let me see. And you see that both machines are now co are connected. So if I if I do here like hello, this is PC one. You see the same message comes here in the PC two. In the same way, hello, I'm gonna put a message here in the PC two here. Hello, this is PC two. Hope you're doing fine. Right. So you see that both machines are communicating. So as I told you that it is a network utility tool that transfers your data between two locations. So these are the two locations. You see, they are working on the base of the socket port. So uh, once a machine is on a listening mode with a port number 4440, the same other machine can be connected to this listening computer with the same port number and with the IP address. All right, so this is the command that you can use. By the way, you can also use another alternative uh, options for the SOCAD. So let me close this connections and uh, you can use SOCAD H to give you a range of uh, you know options that you can use with this SOCAD tool. So these all are options available for you. You can go ahead and try to run it with different varieties of options. Dash V, dash H, dash double double, double H, uh, triple edge, uh, you know, the, uh, you, you can use it right for your analysis purpose. So, I hope you like it. If you like it, please hit that like button and uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video. Thank you so much for listening to me, and I'll see you in the next session.